Ah, je n'ai pas. Je n'ai pas. Can you speak any French? Um, bonjour, je m'appelle Jean Etoile. Is that right? Ah, uh, yeah. Hello, I'm Johnny. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, bonjour. I can say, I can say, uh, I can say, I can say. There's a thing, I was in France last time I was saying it because it made people laugh. I couldn't speak it. Je suis une petite rouge pomme. I have oh, no, a little Je pince. suis une pomme rouge. Je suis une petite pomme rouge. Hello, I am one little red apple. <laughs> I, I used to say that that's because, weird. Yeah, because I, I knew there was just always and had to put him in sentence, and I said it to someone in a cafe once. Because yeah. the French are known for if you make an effort to try the language, mm -hmm. they're way more polite to you than if you just come in and be like, "Hey, can I get a croissant?" Yeah. If you say, "What about if I was like, bonjour? Can une, I get a croissant? Un croissant, s'il vous plaît." Like, if you make an effort, clearly yeah. I'm not French and I can't speak French, but they'll be like. Ah, oh, bonjour. Like, m way more friendly towards you for doing that. But when I clearly could not, I would say, uh, Je suis une petite pomme rouge. <laughs> and they would look at me and be like, Huh? Ah? <laughs> the Japanese are kind of similar because when I went there, it's like you would try and speak in Japanese and they'd, they'd be like, Oh, he's trying so hard, the poor little guy. Yeah. And they'd be like, uh, It's okay. English and they they was he's like oh thank fuck thank fuck for that <laughs> I was really struggling yeah. here yeah hey uh oh good morning party people welcome to the breakdown today I'm Johnny this is Nath we love you je suis petit idiot <laughs> <laughs> today, little idiot yeah today we're checking out balance and composure they're back baby Ooh. this is the brand new single save your mode <laughs> fuck hang on start the video again okay. Whoa! Trying to get some balance and composure. Anyway. Worth it! <laughs> Slipped into saving mode. Because this channel's gonna crash and burn if I keep fucking doing that shit. If you keep talking. Yeah. Anyway. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Balance and Composure, they are a seminal band that you oh, should I check like out. that word. Yeah, it is a good word. It's got semen in it. <laughs> Ruined it. Uh, yeah. Nah, they are, like you said, they're a seminal band uh, in the, I guess you put them in the shoegaze, sad boy, hardcore sort of. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Favourite album? You know what? I don't actually have a favourite album. Okay. I, I have had a bunch of favourite songs. Oh, I need to go and make a shoegaze playlist. What are you going to call it? would be great. Get back to me on that one. We're going to listen to this one right now. Hmm. Any recommendations for Johnny Shoegate players? Solve you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not allowed in that one. Three, two, one. changing no no no. I, I just wanted it to keep happening and i'm glad it did okay that's really good i like that i love his voice yes yeah, really i've just heard dustin kendra in his vocals just then for the first time ever and i can understand why you like them yeah Obviously, I like them because they're very good, but I can. I heard Dustin yeah. in that line. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely in that line.
glad you mentioned that baseline because I feel like a lot of these sorts of bands from this this genre and especially around the time when these guys were kind of blowing up, they had to have those really strong rolling bass lines that were quite consistent because the guitars are, are, are relatively pulled back and, and simplistic and it's a lot of sort of just like slow picking and soft picking yeah. until the choruses kick in. So I love the fact that this style, the bass, is one of the prominent driving instruments in it. Yeah. Which is really cool. He loves a jacket over a hoodie. We just talked about fashion recently on the channel. That's and less fashion, more layering. It looks cold there. Yeah, it does look a bit gloomy, doesn't it? When we it? do it here, it's because fashion because it doesn't get that cold that often. So it's more like, oh, I really wanted this jacket. I'll yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to be sweating <laughs> underneath. <laughs> I'll sweat. I'll it's sweat under here. Worth it. Name that movie. That's for you. I'm all... I'm all sweat. From here down, it's all sweat. Oh, what is that? I'll tell you at the end of the Okay. under the bag. Oh wait, maybe we'll find out. It's a cliffhanger. Oh, I didn't tell you, he just closed his door. God damn it. Why did you do that? Sounds like bitches. You know uh, what? Really I've cool. just sort of realized. What did you just realize? These and you're right, they are kind of shoegazy, that, that sort of feel. It has a lot of similarities to this, like, Midwest emo sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this was a kind of a precursor to Midwest emo because Midwest emo takes a lot of inspiration from this sort of stuff, but it's, it's a little bit more technical. Yeah, the guitar works. The guitar works a lot more technical. Yeah. Because I was just thinking throughout this, like, I, like I'm assuming you enjoyed that. Yes, I enjoyed that as well. I went through a huge stage where I was listening to a lot of this sort of stuff, like bands like This, Make Do Man, Basement, Citizen, Turnover, all those sorts of bands. But I fully get that it's not for everyone because yeah, it's not. I don't listen to it to be excited. I listen to it. That's exactly it. It yeah. is very. They they do have like. 
uh, they got some heavier moments. I tore you apart in my head and stuff like that. Yeah. They're still like heavier <clears throat> songs, but yeah, it's not something that you're going to have the big peaks and troughs in the yeah. music. It is a bit sort of like middle ground, but done really, really well. For sure. Yeah, I yeah. enjoyed that. I'm excited to have them back there. It's uh, They've just released this and another single, which we haven't checked out. We'll go do that separately. We're not going to make you do two in a row. But um, It made a lot of people sad when they announced just randomly that they were going to be ending a few yeah. years back. So it's I'm good so to see them back. back. 100%. Yeah. If you haven't checked them out before, what did you guys think of Savior Mode? Did that make you want to go and listen to more of Balance and Composure? Comment below. Let us know your thoughts. And we will see you guys in another video. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.